You might have seen this statement at least once in your life for sure. Now this statement is called as pangram because in this all the 26 English alphabet appears at least once. So here comes another important interview question that is how to check if a string is pangram or not. Welcome to 100 days 100 interview questions for Estet. The program's logic is very simple. We would create a method to check if the sentence is pangram or not and on the basis of the check we would return either true or false. The first thing we should do here is convert the entire string into lowercase so that the comparison is going to be case insensitive. Now in order to say a string is pangram all the 26 alphabets should be present so the minimum length of the string should be 26. If the length of the string is less than 26 we would return false. We would then iterate through each letter of the alphabet using a simple for loop. In order to check if a character is present in the string we would use the index of method from the string class. If the index is less than 0 it means that the character is not present and hence we would return false again. If the loop completes without returning false, it means all the letters are present and hence this string is going to be a pangram. So we would return true and we are done.